Hiya, welcome to the Facebook ads five minute show with me, Sophie Nicole Casey and Bua, my sidekick. Um, <clears throat> so if you watched the last episode, then you would have probably seen us getting attacked by stray dogs nearly, bitten, I got bitten by a mosquito <laughs> while walking and on an otherwise dull day, um, the sun decided to come out and absolutely melt me while I was walking. So this time I decided to come to one of our favourite um, chill out spots. Um, it's got a beautiful view, but unfortunately the sun is everywhere as usual. Um, so we're just enjoying a nice iced tea over here. Um, and this episode today is the second C, Creatives. Um, it's a two part series, so this is part one. Um, and I'm gonna be talking about images. Um, also on the last episode, um, I ran over by about three minutes and it is a five minute show. Um, so I've got my timer running and I've got four minutes left basically. So all I'm going to do in this episode is go through as many tips as I can about when you're creating images. So um, first of all, you should always be designing for mobile. Um, so you should be doing them ideally vertical or square because that way they take up like a lot more space on the viewer's phone. So while they're scrolling, um, it just fills up more of the screen. They're less likely to see something above or below it. Um, so yeah, you want to grab their attention. Um, secondly, you need it to be bold, bright. So think about bright colours, colours that stand out on the background of Facebook, for example, like bright yellows, greens, just anything that stands out, just because the image's main job is to make people stop, stop scrolling. That's all you want an image to do, really. It can do more, but that is like its number one, its first job. Um, so the next thing is think outside of the box. So what I tell people to do is go and have a look at your competition, look at what they're doing, check out what ads they're running by clicking on the transparency button on their page and then going to the ads library. Um, and whatever they're doing, just do the opposite, do differently. Don't do what they're doing because basically you're not gonna stand out. You're just gonna like blend in, you're gonna look the same as them. So you wanna stand out, think outside the box. How can you portray the message that you're trying to tell, that you're trying to give in a different way, in a way that people haven't already thought of, basically. Um, the next one is they have to be high quality. So you can't have like blurry images, pixelated images. It just doesn't work. They have to be high quality. Um, that's absolutely no exceptions. Um, smiles. If you are a coach or a teacher or anything, any sort of business owner where they need to get to know you, like, like me, for example, um, take a big photo of you smiling, <laughs> like big smiles, and, and that that will like that will stop them scrolling. It's, uh, people are gonna people are gonna like it, you know, because it's just a you, genuine you, no posy, no um, no loads of makeup, no not like studio ish, but just natural smiles, the real you basically, because people want to get to know the real you. So let's just see how we're doing. Um, another tip is just have one focus in the image. So I'm not saying you have to just have one thing in the image, but if, for example, you're taking a photo with your phone, if you take it on portrait mode, you can actually focus on one thing and then have the background blurry, for example. So a classic example is beer adverts. You know, they take a photo of the bottle of beer. It's got like drops of water on it, um, condensing on it. And then the background's blurry because you just want a crystal clear image of what you want it to look like. So whatever images you're taking, basically, just make sure there's just one focal point. Um, so the next one is if, you're, if you've got a product, if you take, like, if you do lots of different angles of it. So if you imagine like shoes, for example, if you're like Nike or something, you've got trainers, like don't just do one angle, try different angles. You could put them in one ad to show all the different types in one ad. Or you could um, test different ones, test different angles and different ads and see which one does the best. Um, so yeah, just use lots of different angles. See what see what appeals most to your audience. Are you all right, little one? Are you going to say hello? Say somebody cap. Say somebody cap. This way. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> he wants to eat the stand. <laughs> Yay. Um, and the other one is add animation. If you add movement to your otherwise still image, it, the movement's going to stand out. 
desktop scrolling, even if it's really, really basic, like nothing really special. You don't, have, you don't need special ah. software. Daddy's being silly behind the camera. <laughs> you don't need special software. Um, there's loads of free apps. You can just easily, easily add like moving text, add a logo, add, add, a, add, a, add an icon, you know, like sunshine on an otherwise cloudy day or something. You know, the possibilities are endless. Um, but yeah, just add animation. And the last one, very quickly, is follow the rule of thirds, which is if you've got a grid like this and it's got two lines that way, two lines that way, where the lines intersect or on the lines is where you should put the thing you want people to look at. Don't put it in the middle, it's less visually appealing. So that's the five minutes up. So that's it for today. Um, I hope you found that helpful. Let me know if you've got any questions at all. Um, next week, part two is video. So I'll be doing the same, but talking about video. So um, if, you, if you enjoyed this episode, please hit subscribe, um, like my page and you'll be notified when the next one is but it'll be the same time next week and that's it so bye say bye 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 say bye 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 <laughs>